this is Terry at Knowledge Quest. I'm going to show you how to make a custom map for your history or geography study quickly using Map Studio Pro. We're going to be studying Classical Conversation Cycle 3 this year, so I'm going to make a map for Week 1 Geography, where we begin to learn the states and capitals. So first thing you're going to do is come over here to Load Map and choose USA. I'm going to start zooming in. I'm going to zoom in a lot because we're working in the East Coast up in New England for week one. So I'm just going to keep zooming, zooming. It doesn't matter how much you zoom, your clarity is still going to be great. So let's get this New England section of our map here in the center. And I'm going to zoom some more. I want Maine at the top and Connecticut at the bottom. Looks like I can get a couple more clicks in here. Maybe one more. Perfect. Okay, now there's too much going on on this map. I only want to show five of the states and capitals. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my own city circles. And I'm going to put them right over the cities that I want. So I'm going to do Augusta. Let me just straighten that out. Augusta, Maine. I am going to do Concord, New Hampshire, Boston, Massachusetts, Providence, Rhode Island, and Hartford, Connecticut. Those are the cities that we're going to be studying. So now after I got that, I can turn off all the rest of the cities and towns. There, there they go, bye bye. And I can also turn off the city names. I'm going to type in my own. So I'm going to come back over here to edit. And I'm going to put in text. And I'm going to type in my own. Double click. Text. I want Augusta, Maine. I'm going to put it in at a six point size. Apply. There we go. We've got Augusta. All right. We need Concord, New Hampshire. And in it goes. We've got to move it. So it looks good. All right, Boston. There's Boston, drop that in. Providence. All right, we'll put that in. Six point size, looks good. One more, Hartford. And again, six point size. We'll apply that, move it into place. That looks good. And I'm going to get rid of anything I don't need. I don't need Vermont and I don't need New York. Everything else is great, but I think I might move a few things just to uh, give us a little more space here. That looks good. I think I'm going to just move this over here in Boston, over here, just to so it doesn't look so crowded in that area. All right, maybe Connecticut, I'll move over here a little bit too. Just make it the way you like it. So move things around as you want. Let's see, Connecticut, Hartford, Providence. Okay, everything looks good. Okay, that is my teacher's map. I'm gonna go ahead and download that. Oh, I need to leave editing mode. So this is the editing mode. I'm gonna go here and say off. I'm going to download this. I'm going to download just the part that you see. I'm going to keep it at 100% and I'm going to download. And this is my teacher's map. I can print out one copy for myself, which is really handy. Now I want them to have a map that they will um, fill in themselves. So I'm going to turn off some things. One of the first things I'm going to do is turn off my new text that I put in there. Also going to turn off the state names. That's over here. Turn that off. Perfect. Okay, I wanted those. I am going to take off the states and I'm going to get rid of the countries. That leaves me here with um, nothing but the state outlines and the city dots, which is perfect. I want to make this white so that they can color it in them themselves. There we go. Perfect. That's exactly what I want for my students. I'm going to download this map just the part that we see at 100% in a download and I'll be ready to print both of those maps out for my students. 
I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Now go make your own map over at mapstudiopro.com. Thanks for watching.